So, hi guys, it's Ray again, and I thought I'd do my glossy box unboxing for you today. Unfortunately, like I said before in my what I got for Christmas video, I shared my glossy boxes. So, if you have the glossy box subscription too, and when I'm going through it, you realise that I'm missing some things, that's why. But I got the majority of the things. So, my mum took out um, a three month subscription, so I've got the month of October, November and December. I don't know which is November and which is October, but I do know which one is Christmas because it's all sparkly and glittery and really pretty. This is what the Christmas box looks like. This is what the standard box looks like. I'm just going to go through them quickly because I am aware that I talk a lot in my videos do go on a bit. So the way the boxes look, so the way the boxes look, this is the lid and this is inside the lid. It's all really well presented and packaged, they're really nice. And also we have tissue paper inside and we have a little ribbon that ties it up. But like I said, me and my mum have already been through them so they're not as well presented. This is the October box but don't hold me on that. So this box was named Lips and Lashes and I absolutely adore false lashes. I don't wear them too often because I don't get a lot of opportunities but I got Eyelure Lashes. They are just really cute, not too over dramatic little wispy ones. The other thing I took from this glossy box was a Revlon lipstick. For the life of me, I've put it somewhere and I cannot remember where. I took it to London with me and I don't know where I put it so I can't show it in the video. But it's in the shade 001 and I think it was called Nude Attitude. And it was basically, it was like a concealer. Well, it wasn't a concealer, it was a lipstick but it was concealer colour. I'm still playing around with it. I think it washes me out quite a lot. I just I don't think I suit really pale lip colours because I already have a really pale complexion so I just think it washes me out unfortunately. So that was the October box, I think. Don't hold me against that. Uh -huh, so I only got two things out of that box. I'm not entirely I've only got three boxes. I'm not entirely sure how much they usually put in every box. It seems to vary Sometimes it can be five, sometimes it can be six. I should in this box, first thing I want to show because it has been a lifesaver for me recently is this face moisturizer. Talky, Talky, I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's a hydrating face moisturizer. I think this is a sample size. This was one of the more expensive ones and there's a whole science behind this moisturiser that uses D and, and photosensitive cells or way beyond my comp comprehension. I have really dry skin, I've always had dry skin, that's why when I do my makeup I like to have a more dewy complexion. Lifesaver, it is great, you only need a tiny, tiny pinch of it for your full face and it smells did I get some on my nose? I got some on my nose. <laughs> it smells great. It smells kind of like sun sun cream. So if you really like that smell, you'll like this. I, I love facial moisturiser and I really needed this. So this thing I haven't used yet, as you can see, it's still on the box, is hand cream. I haven't used yet mostly because I've got more hand creams than I know what to do with. I think this is a full size one. So I really can't say too much in this product because I have never used it. I got total lifesaver. I know I'm saying that for every product, but primer. We all need primer in our lives, but I just think primer is the most boring thing to buy and I hate buying it for myself. So if somebody else buys me it, great. And I really, I really needed a new primer and I got it in the glossy box. It's called Diamond Heart. 
this is definitely a sample size, but oh, this primer is fantastic. I have had no problems with this primer. It goes on like a dream. You only need a tiny bit. And also, it's slightly luminizing. Even it makes my skin look glowy and it's brilliant. This next item I've only used once. It's Jelly Pom Pom Mascara. To get the box and not use it. And I've opened it upside down, of course. Here it is. I've only used it once. I'm not I'm not too keen on it. I'll let you see the, the brush. I'm not too keen on it. I've used it once and I just I just felt as if it tugged on my lashes a lot and the brush is really skinny. I've already naturally got really big, long, flittery lashes as it is. I think this would be good for somebody if they had short, stubbly lashes. But for me, I've got quite long lashes and I just feel as if the brush, the bristles on the brush are too small. So maybe I'll give it a few more shots and maybe it'll turn out to be my favourite mascara. But nothing can beat Avon's Super Shock Mascara. The December box. I have to show it again because it's so pretty. Three things in here. I'm going to start off with my all time favourite this liquid lipstick. Let me show you. There you go. There's the. This liquid lipstick. It's a lovely. It's a very, very. Very, very deep pink, borderline red. I'll swatch it for you. I'm terrible at swatches. Swatch of it. It's not coming off great in camera. I think it might be the lighting in my room. But it is. It's a, it's a very, very, very light red, borderline pink, or however you want to see it. Very, very, very dark pink, borderline red. It is the only liquid lipstick I own. I've wanted to jump on to the liquid lipstick bandwagon for a while, but they're quite expensive and I'm a student. <laughs> a bit confused as to what it is yet, I'll need to research it a bit more. Here it is. At first, at first when I was reading it I thought it was a primer. It's something you put on, with primer, you put primer on before you put your foundation on, but with this, you put this on after you put your foundation on it's to if you have large pores it's to decrease the size of your pores and there's other uses for it. It is by a company called you see it? So Susan and it is a highlighting pencil. I haven't used it so I don't have a lot of things to say about it other than it looks really good quality and it looks really nice and I can't wait to use it and I think it'd be really good for under the eye as well because it just looks like something that'll brighten your face up and make you look more awake. And the last thing here which is one of the things I'm most excited about because if you didn't know me I love nail polish and the last thing is polish a gorgeous purpley sparkly one and it's long lasting it's just it's absolutely gorgeous everything in my glossy boxes so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was shorter for some of you a few of you have been saying my videos are too long so I'm trying to condense them a bit yeah really 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 sorry about the lighting I, I was going to film during the day, but you know what happens, procrastinating. So if you're new here, please click that button down below, subscribe, that would I mean a lot to me if you join our little, very small family, but ever growing family, and like and comment as well, that would mean a lot to me, and just keep coming back and seeing my videos.